so what is up people today we are going to build a simple to do list application in react js and we will learn how we can pass the data between components and how we can manage the state and how we can pass data from a child component to a parent component so we will learn all these things and so let's first initialize our new react application i am creating a directory let's say react to do list app into it and let's open it in VS code I'm opening the terminal and here I'm saying that hey react create a new application for me so into current directory and it is installing all the packages it will take some time or the new brand new application is initialized with react and let's if I open it using npm start you can see it's an empty react project right and let's go to this and let's do some changes in our app.js and i'm saying hello react so now if you see it's saying logo is defined but never use let's remove this i'm removing all extra files and now you can see here it is saying hello react and now let's create our components so first i'm creating the header header index component i'm saying header return i'm saying header bar and export default header let's create some other component in this for our header bar header bar.jsx i'm saying header bar return div dot header bar wrapper I'm saying that uh, let's create some simple bar. I'm saying h1 and to do list app and let's export it. Export default header bar and import it here. Import header bar from the header bar and let's import it in app.js import header ok so i have not created the component folder no problem let's and now it is compiled successfully you can see our heading is here to do list app right and let me create a folder for components and i'm moving this header into this component folder yes so now all our my imports are done let me create a new component folder here and let's say it is task list because we need to show our task list on the browser and i'm saying index Yes. Const task list in return if now I'm ending it class here task list wrapper I'm saying list. Let's create a list component list return list dot class list 
export it also export default list and for each list item i need to create i will create component because i don't want to repeat the things right and i'm creating list item list item i want to show the only two things one is button for delete my task from the list and one is task name right. task name and one is date task date adding this is dummy data i will modify it later list item this is a type okay so now let's import this each item i'm importing this item component list item and list it here list let's render it inside this component and in index port list from list and in app.js let's import this component also naming it task list from components task list and rendering it here so you can see it is basically saying that the task name date delete all three options so now our next move is we don't want to show here any static data right this is a static data but we want to show a whole list so let's create a dummy list tasks i'm saying name right go or anything and for date i'm saying new date okay it is basically and here i am passing it as prop tasks tasks task list let's go to our index logics fetch this prop task list what was the tasks right so fetch it here pass this to this list tasks go to list fetch it here tasks and here what you need to do is here let's fetch name and date and here we want to show the dynamic task name and the dynamic date to local date string right and here what you want let's do here some mapping with this array i am saying tasks dot map what we have in this name and date i'm destructuring it here i'm adding the direct return with this list item right and in this i'm passing the props name date date now let's see here what we are getting you can see here right book and if i add in this app.js some new data it will be rendered here you can see this is the complete list 
so uh, it is only for today's video and in the next video i will show you how you can directly create a form here for adding a new task and that task will be written to this list and you can also delete that and in the next video we will also do some stylings for this to do list app but for now uh, this is good enough and thanks for watching the video you can find the source code of this application in my description thank you